so in step 1 we are trying to see the self and the body are two distinct realities so this we can see with observation i can observe myself i can observe my activities and i can also observe activities of the body and based on this we can say that self and the body are two distinct realities with this in step 2 we are observing interaction between the self and the body so i give instructions to the body and i have choice to give instruction or not to give so i give only those instruction to the body that i consider to be important and I can see that this instruction is an information. Right. And similarly, I can read sensation. And this sensation is also an information. So the interaction between the body is only in the form of information. The not of any physiochemical thing. So information is being exchanged between me and the body. So this is step two. Then in step three, we are observing who is decision maker. It is me who decides or it is body that decides. So with observation, we can see that I am the one who decides to give instruction to the body. I am the one who decides to read a specific sensation from the body. So decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine. So I interact with the body as in when I think it is important. I interact with the body time to time. Similarly, I give instruction to the body and body acts according to the instruction of I. So it is happening with the choices. So I am not hard bound with the body. So with this we studied step 4 and step 4 we are observing the separation between the self and the body. So while reading the sensation, I am asking myself, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So I can see that I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is a separation between the two. So there is a separation between me and the body. That's why we have cho choice to interact with the body or not interact with the body. We have choice to read sensation of the body or not to read it. So with this choice, choice now in step 5, we are studying sources of sensation right so sources of sensation there could be four possible sources number one the effect of the behavior of the other is reaching to my body in terms of sound words touch etc and due to that there are sensation in the body Second source is there is a physiochemical change in environment and it has an effect on my body. Due to that, there are sensations in the body. So, there are events happening within the body. So, there is a pain, 
rapid heartbeat, agitation in stomach, etc. So due to that, there are sensations in the body. And fourth source is something is going on in my imagination. Sometimes our feeling in harmony, sometimes our feelings are in contradiction. And due to So, these are the sources due to which sensations are happening in my body. And I have choice to read it. I have choice when to read it. So, this is what we studied till now. So, we can take one or two reflections, then we can move to next slides. So we have Ganesh ji with us, Ganesh Ravinder ji. Namaste bhaiya. Namaste bhaiya. Ji. Namaste. Namaste. So uh, I uh, give the attention to the sensation, uh, whichever I find important. Similarly, uh, it is, uh, if we can uh, follow this in case of thoughts as well when we are observing self by self. So what is the distinction or difference between giving an attention to a sensation or thought and ignoring them? Jivaya. So, Bhaiya, sensations are happening in the body. Mm -hmm. Giving attention means now it is my priority to address that sensation. So, for mm. example, mm, for example, some a person is speaking to you, right? Mm. And his sound is reaching to you, to your ear. Mm. Now you read it. You read it when you think the that person is important for you. Mm. If that person is not important for you, you ignore it. You, you know, keep doing under 10 things. Mm. Mm. So you, if you think it is important sensation, then you read it. Otherwise, you may ignore it. You have choice. Ignore mm. means I am not reading. It is happening in my body, but I am not reading. For example, you are indulged in watching TV mm. and someone is calling you. Mm. So, voice is reaching up to your ear, but you are so indulged that you are not reading it because it is not important for you. What is important for you? That serial. So, you are ignoring one sensation, but you are reading another sensation sensation that is happening due to TV. Mm. Right, Bhaiya? Mm. Okay. Is it clear, Bhaiya? Or few more examples should I no, give? Uh, no, Miss my uh, so, uh, you can say it is a concern or some kind of analysis. But let us consider that uh, if I am feeling some uncomfortability in my heart. Let us make this again. Hey, your voice is not clear. Yes. Okay. Now, now, Bhaiya, is it okay? Ha, now. Okay. So, my concern is uh, that uh, if some sensations or thoughts which are really important and if I do not think them as important, so there may be a, some disaster. Okay. For example, this, this is, you can say that it is an analytical question, but it is uh, troubling me for so many days. Uh, suppose if there is some uncomfortability in my heart, right? Let us some, which may be arrived due to the acidity also, right? 
and if i ignore it if i give the importance to some other thing and if if it is a really a heart attack smaller heart attack then it can be a fatal thing mm. if i ignore the sensation if if i fail to recognize uh, that sensation as very important sensation this this is my really concern because it happens many times uh, like people who ignore the sensation considering that it is less important and some after uh, some time it may be very dangerous this is the concern i have ji bhaiya so what is uh, what exactly are you expecting from me bhaiya so this is what i explained with example suppose there is a pain in heart right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you are busy in, in your office work Mm-hmm. so there is a sensation in the body sensation near heart but because you are indulged in the bot, uh, office work so you, you are not reading it mm-hmm. so it is your decision suppose mm-hmm. there is a little pain mm-hmm. now your office work is more important than that pain so you can ignore it and you ignore it generally we ignore it right so but if it if this sensation is important for you suppose uh, any person has face two times heart attack two times now he will be more conscious about this pain so if if any time there is a little pain he will focus immediately he will leave all the work because he knows now it is very important for me i cannot ignore even a little pinch near by heart okay. so now it is his priority mm. so he will focus on sensation that sensation okay. so it is so, our priority ji ji i got it i got it yes, yes it is matter of awareness within matter yeah. of importance importance yeah. awareness and importance so many times we are not aware of sensation happening in the body you know and we are so indulged outside that we do not read sensations of the body suppose you are sitting for 8 hours you know in the chair yeah. Yeah. working in office now there is a, there are many sensations nearby the shoulders and which are indication of cervical etc but we do not pay attention it till this cervical has happened with me yes. so board sensations are taking place but we become so indulged outside that we do not read it okay because i have choices that's why i can ignore it Jee, right? Yeah. Jee, jee. Now it is clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, be. Thank you. Thank Namaste, be. So let's take one more reflection. So we have Amrish ji with us. नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते होप आई एम ऑडिबल भैया यस यस नमस्ते टू ऑल यस्टरडे आई वाज एबल टू सी वेयर द सोर्स ऑफ सेंसेशन दैट आई एम गेटिंग सो यस्टरडे आफ्टरनून देयर वाज व्हाट आई एम एबल टू सी इज दिस सोर्सेस डू चेंज मोमेंट टू मोमेंट भैया द आई वाज एबल टू सी दैट इनिशियली आई हैड अ कॉल from one of my colleague uh, telling that the other head of the institution wants to talk to me the moment uh, i received that call uh, i was uh, uh, in a different state and i was giving some other meaning that how can uh, he can call me like that so there was a disturbance in me and i was able to see that that uh, uh, 
the sensation that i received from the other end had triggered that disturbance and now uh, it is no more there the, the discussion is happened but still uh, i am carrying that and now uh, the source is now the imagination only what i am thinking how can he call me and uh, that way so there were disturbance of 2 to 3 minutes in me and later on when i am able to see that i had uh, uh, selecting uh, uh, this sensation is related to those uh, past events of what i carry for uh, his discussion with uh, earlier discussion now uh, i am i am still not comfortable one or two minutes after that uh, it, this is not naturally acceptable then i just trolled back and came to that uh, uh, harmony part within so so i what i was able to see is not that uh, it is only uh, sometimes moment to moment this triggers and i think the sources do keep on changing rather than holding the same source i think that is what i was able to see bhaiya yesterday you can just help me in this aspect what is whatever is happening yeah all right bhaiya so sources may be changing this is one possibility second possibility yeah. is my attention is changing yeah yeah yes bhaiya yeah so for example you are sitting in a office ac yeah. is on yeah so this is one source yes so ac is impacting your body now you are feeling cold so this is one sensation yeah at the same time suppose one person tells you that director has called you yes now many people when they hear the call of doctor a uh, director yeah so he may feel pan- panic what panic, i have yes. done yeah yeah <laughs> now due to this panic another sensation may happen in our body yes yeah yeah yes yes like shivering they feel mm. they may feel go to washroom yes 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 yeah. so now ac source is also working but now still, this imagine but... due to this imagination is also there is a sensation now yes, both but... are working yeah yeah but what is my priority now my priority is to address this director's call yeah okay okay so my attention has been shifted now but ac okay. is working that sensation is happening okay okay nice right time. so sources may be change or my attention may be changing both possibilities yeah. are there yeah. right bhai right so the living now is based on the moment to moment bhai that's what i am able to see that's not that it is uh, <laughs> uh it is going on like that continuity is there and i need to only observe myself what is my natural acceptance then i am comfortable that's what i was able to see thank you bhai okay bhai so that we will unfold in coming steps yeah yeah yes bhai yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the sources i was able to see bhai very clearly yesterday and uh, and this where they're happening uh, i was not uh, we think that everything is there but uh, one unless i give um, priority and look within then only i will i was able to make out since so many days i am there connected but still uh, this uh, uh, looking at those sources clearly and understanding what it is impacting on me uh, then only i can figure it out and then uh, try to work on them now yeah thank you bhai okay bhai so we can take one more sharing so we have balji reddy bhaiya with us namaste bhaiya namaskar gopal ji namaskar all others uh, yesterday's uh, assignment uh, throughout the day uh, observe what is happening when you interact with other human beings i interacted observe how the other human beings behavior has some impact as a result there is some sensation yes i have seen uh, many sources i have seen uh, effect of others behavior and uh, outside uh, physiochemical change and events in the body and the fourth source uh, imagination in myself so observed so one example i want to share so notice that when you taste this sensation you give some meaning to it yes that meaning uh, what i give is different for different people even though the behavior may be similar what i observed for example to uh, students i can see or to uh, persons colleagues when i see 
my senses uh, they recognize and they fulfill means they are giving the sensation only so that is definite but my response uh, with uh, these two different uh, uh, i can say uh, uh, sensations that information what i how i read my response is uh, based on my assuming and my knowing so all these things i interpret and then i fulfill because uh, one person suppose if he appears i think uh, and i link to previous condition uh, um, uh, based on my preconditions and all like that i felt so then i need uh, i require uh, some more observation uh, so that uh, my thoughts and uh, feelings are to be in uh, natural in line with my natural acceptance however this is one case another case even though my uh, thoughts and uh, these feelings uh, are to be in uh, maybe in line with the natural acceptance because of uh, their uh, connectivity uh, yes my interpretation is different also that may not uh, 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 even though the interpretations are different both may lead to uh, uh, lead my feelings uh, to my natural acceptance also in line with my natural acceptance uh, that also i observed it does not mean that uh, my uh, interpretation because of the difference in my interpretation uh, my feelings uh, are not in line with natural acceptance these two uh, i want to share by kindly guide me thank you right bhaiya so let's have a discussion on this so next slide is what you are sharing associating meaning to the sensation so in previous slide we are trying to be aware of different sources sources of sensations now we can discuss how do we associate meaning to this sensation so let me explain this ppt then i will come back to prashant bhaiya and chandra sekhar ji i hope all of us are able to see this ppt so now we are discussing how do we associate meaning to this sensation so let's example of interaction of two people one is me another is outsider so there is a behavior there is a interaction between me and the other person he is speaking something he is saying something due to that physiochemical changes are happening and it impacts my body suppose a person is speaking abusive language so that language is not hurting me his sound is not hurting me what is happening at the level of body those words in the form of sounds comes to my ear it impacts creates some impacts effects on my body on ear then some sensations take place it is happening up to the body only right now if i think that person is important listening that person is important for me <coughs> then i decide to read that sound so it is my choice so once i decide to read it i start reading this sound this sensation that is happening at my ear now i associate meaning to that sensation in conjunction with my sanskar so as i read those words now i give meanings to those words 
and this meanings is based on my sanskar right it may be based on knowing it may be based on assuming so we have assumed that these kind of words are not good for society these kind of words means disrespecting a person so once i associate this meaning with those words now i get influenced because i have associated some meaning to those words so that person had spoken only words now these words are good or bad it is my at it is up to my sanskar so in my environment if those words are considered bad so i conclude that this person is disrespecting me so once i conclude this now i am affected because i have associated feeling of disrespect now i am feeling disrespected so i am feeling disrespected now i am feeling hurt with this hurt now i start reacting because i am influenced inside i am feeling hurt now i am reacting on it so i am reacting inside how this person can say like this etc with this reaction now i decide to express outside it may be possible that i may not decide to express it outside but once i have decided i will tell him i will tell him loudly so if i decide like this then i instruct my body now i am instructing my body and body is an instrument it just follows my instruction so body is follows my instruction and it creates sounds and it is goes outside to that person so this is the steps which are happening between interaction interaction between me and the other person so body is affected his by his word this is one part now i am reading those words and giving meaning to this and with this meaning this meaning may be based on knowing or this meaning may be based on assuming if it is based on no, assuming and i am feeling disrespected then i am influenced and with this feeling of disrespect i react i decide to instruct my body and you know, give him reply then body start acting according to my instruction and i express it outside with that person so this is how the steps are working and you know? now it is up to our awareness are we able to see all these steps or are we able to see only few steps he has spoken and i have replied him only these two steps i am able to see or behind those two steps and these steps are also working i am giving meaning uh, with those with that meaning i am getting influenced with that influence i am reacting inside with that reaction i am deciding to express outside once i have decided i am instructing my body now now my body is acting according to my instructions all these things are happening now it is up to me at which how many steps i am able to see so for example na uh, let's Uh, take an same example with knowing so some person has spoken wrong words it has created some impacts on my body i have decided to read it that's why i am reading it now i am trying to understand his words i am not giving meaning i am trying to understand his word and based on his, his words i am trying to know his state of being his state of sanskars 
now i am aware that that person is not compatible within that person has feeling of opposition that's why he is speaking like this but that person also wants to live a fulfilling life as i want to live a fulfilling life now with this kind of na meaning with this kind of knowing i will decide what feeling is naturally acceptable to me so i decide to reply him with a feeling of affection now i don't have reaction anymore i am responding that person i am responding based on feeling of affection so once i decide to reply him with feeling of affection so i instruct my body i will frame words according to feeling of affection and body is body it will follows my instruction only so once i decide to reply him with feeling of affection then i instruct my body and now my body follows my instruction and it is how i express feeling of affection outside so what meaning i am giving how i am receiving the sensation with on the basis of knowing or on the basis of assuming it impacts me right so this is what we need to practice now are we able to see all these steps are we able to see in parts what is what has happened at the level of body now what is happening at the level of myself now how i am deciding based on assumption or knowing then i am giving instruction to the body and in body is following me so all these things are happening before i reply but are we aware of it this is important so this is what uh, balji bhaiya was trying to say you know he was trying to relate the event with his feeling whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not so we all have this choice we all have this options to see within ourselves so words are words same word in one region are is considered bad same word in one region is considered okay so this is not the word that is hurting me this is my meaning the meaning that i associate with that word that hurts me so that's i need to be aware right it is okay balji bhaiya balji reddy bhaiya yes bhai yes all right so let's take a 10 minute observation and we will see are we able to see these steps happening within me so maybe you are not interacting with other persons right now but you can see this meaning of sensation that you associate it with your sanskar for example there is a change in body like there is a some sensations are taking place in body now it is my sanskar how do i receive this changes i may consider it as a pain i may consider it as an indication that body needs some attention so if i consider it as a pain i may have a reaction inside me if i consider it as an indication that body needs attention some complementarity from me then i may respond to the body so it is up to my meaning it is my association with those sensations right so let's take 10 minute pause and we will try to see these steps are we able to see like this or not
देन आई विल कम बैक टू प्रशांत भैया चंद्रशेखर जी पूर्वी जी सो लेट्स टेक टेन मिनट पॉज एंड वी विल ऑब्जर्व इट भैया नमस्ते सभी को भैया बहुत ही जैसे जैसे हमारी स्टेप्स आगे जा रही पर्टिकुलरली ये एक्सरसाइज टू स्टेप फाइव एंड ऑनवर्ड सभी छह सात ही बच्चे हैं तो धीरे धीरे हम ये बिल्कुल देखने लग गए हैं सभी मतलब जितने भी बार हम करेंगे तो थोड़ा थोड़ा इम्प्रूवमेंट हर बार होता है अभी आपके आज के जो डिस्कशन या एग्जाम्पल से मुझे ये लग रहा है कि एकदम करेक्ट है जो पॉइंट है कि अलग अलग मीन्स वॉट एवर वी आर गिविंग so we are giving meaning to the uh, different persons means whosoever is the person that first i decisively receive that uh, sensation and then i give the meaning to that sensation for example the same call is coming from my wife and the, while watching tv you are given the example and the same call is coming from my mummy so naturally means it is it may be my preconditioning it may be depending upon the sanskar but i feel that my mamma requires my more attention immediately so i must here though i am busy with so many works but i heard her call if she says dada come to me whereas if my wife says so many things abhi she i know she is also in urgent need and my mummy is also but it is me to give the um, means to give attention to whom so definitely so thank you bhaiya it was my sharing today thanks a lot ji nice bhaiya ji so it is very interesting amen ji that same words are being spoken by <laughs> by wife three people and by mummy <laughs> ji yes i think it is you know for others also they may see but i am still i am observing though i am having relations with both but i am comparing their while uh, deciding ji thank you nice be so we have gobind chandra ji with us namaste bhaiya uh, namaste bhaiya namaste to everyone uh, where well, this uh, this step that you are showing in the slide 5 uh, this step 5 so this is clearly understood and uh, that's what uh, i was about to ask before also so if you can go to the previous step step 4 then the uh, the sub step one there so uh, the sensation due to behavior of others and the the sub step four so that imaginations so both are interlinked actually but this step five you can correlate there so the meaning that we give the that things that actually going uh, inside so if i hear something uh, from outsider if my state is i get worry due to because of that step that, that what i hear so if i go to state of worry that a discomfort within so then that will actually um, have the different sensations in the body so these two are not a very different that's what i am just because if we see the step 5 and sub step 1 and 4 so they are very interlinked yes we are so in a step yeah this one the yes. one and four because one we just the uh, the sense that we uh, we the sound of the word that we hear so the sense is just only the hearing that which is bringing the sound from the others to the within because uh, i am the uh, the seer doer and enjoyer so that only senses are only to uh, receive the sound and uh, that which i the self how the meaning we give so that become suppose uh, that become bring peace to me that means of worry or anxiety in the soft step four so then my senses will be accordingly so that's my uh, observation bhaiya yes bhaiya there is a slight difference between step uh, this point 1 and point 4 
so in point one what is happening someone is interacting with me i am listening that person now i am listening that person with associating meaning with my sanskar so this is one part in point four what is happening no person is around me suppose uh, during night i have a fearful dream now no person is interacting with me physically but now i have a fear in me with this fear we can observe changes happening in the body so for example i have seen a fearful dream now my heart beat will be fast my breathing will fast and i may in, at the level of body there may be sweating so all these things are happening at the level of body because some changes are happening in my imagination right so okay. in point number 4 no other person is involved it is happening because of my imagination right we similarly okay. yes we so for example you are watching a serial and after watching serial you have become emotional now what is happening feelings are changing at the level of imagination and now tears are coming at the level of body in eyes so it is happening because of something has happened in my imagination and it impacts it has impacted my body that's why tears are coming yeah bhaiya are you yeah. able to see a difference between 1 and 4 uh yeah so in the 4 because there is no the, there no outsider effect of the outside things so this is yes yes okay thank you bhai yes so many times you may notice it you are sitting in a chair and suddenly you remind some past event and with that past event many times you feel reaction inside and due to that reaction it impacts our body and you may notice changes in body because of reaction inside so no one is involved with you but due to your past memory you may see many changes at the level of body right way right way thank you thank you sir. okay so let's take few more reflections so we have chandra sekhar ji with us namaste bhaiya namaste bhai namaste bhaiya i have i have a question that bhaiya when we are stable when we are harmon harmonious in our thoughts we are aligned with the natural acceptance so are we getting कॉस्मिक एनर्जी व्हेन वी आर स्टेबल एंड हार्मोनिक और वी आर लूजिंग आवर एनर्जी व्हेन वी आर थिंक नेगेटिव एंड यू विल बी डेवलपिंग और वी आर नॉट लिविंग इन लाइन विद द नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस वी आर वी आर लूजिंग एनर्जी इज इज दिस इन इन दिस वे भैया बिकॉज़ इफ विद द पॉजिटिव एनर्जी वी विल गेट सम टाइप ऑफ ऑरा अराउंड अस विद द नेगेटिव एनर्जी वी गेट सम ऑरा अराउंड अस सो इज इट input energy when we are positive and uh, uh, we are losing energy when we are negative thoughts indulging negative thoughts is it like that i can see for energy information sensation whatever we talk maya i convert a thing question yes 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 maya i have got you Yeah. So, Bhaiya, as I told yesterday, also that we are energized all the time, right? As a consciousness unit, and each unit in this existence is energized. So that we need to reevaluate. It is a depletion of energy within me, or 
it is a state of my consciousness of my being so for example i am feeling desperate and i am hopeless now it is because of we lose we have lost some energy or it is because of i am not able to see solution suppose yeah, i am in yeah. problem in my family now i am feeling very desperate no one is listening me yeah. if i try to convince my wife my mother gets angry if i try to convince my mother my wife gets angry and now i am feeling desperate hopeless i am feeling low in low energy so what does it mean low energy losing is there is a dearth of energy or is there is a change of my state of being where i am not able to see a solution dearth of energy as far as my knowledge is concerned so what do you need to do to revive those that energy do you Again, need some external uh, external instrument no bhai again we go to for, uh, as a pure observer Take so activities are going on activities are going on but there is a contradiction in activities i am not able to resolve the problems that's why i am feeling hopeless no? otherwise cosmic energy is available to all no? energy is available available to all so when i am stable inside i feel stable means i am when i feel harmony inside okay. when my desires are not conflicting my when my thoughts are not conflicting i am in harmony then i can see many solutions in that state i will not feel low energy right so bhaiya we can continue this discussion tomorrow and yesterday yes. you asked it at the last moment today also you asked it yeah. last last moment yeah. so it is time for hindi session we can continue it uh, tomorrow definitely bhai thank you namaste sabko so i request sunil bhaiya to start hindi session namaste bhaiya ji bhaiya namaste thank you gobal bhaiya for this interesting session once again in today morning so thank you all the participants for your questions and sharing in this english morning session before we pass on to the hindi part we can have the regular announcements one is uh, today is friday so we have uh, the holistic health session at 7:30 pm so we can attend there with our students the link is available in the chat box and uh, this parts of group of morning session is always uh, you can have a look at that and the assignments are posted every day so we can do the assignment and share it on the next day if you miss out any sessions you can uh, Watch the previous recordings through the links available in the chat box. The international conference will be held from twenty second to twenty twenty fourth of November. The link to register is still open, and it is closing by. It will be closing by tenth uh, of November. So we can help uh, the potential delegates to register for this conference. Those who are from abroad as well as in the country, and you can share the link to anyone who wishes to register. so with this uh, there are a couple of uh, workshops also announced one in interactive app in english another one in hindi the schedule is available in the chat box you can have a look at that you can share the link to the those uh, who want to register for the workshop also so i once again thank all the voice for us and we switch over to hindi now namaste shamla ji for the hindi facilitation and namaste shashank for your team for the moderation part shashank for your over to you now thank you ji dhanyawad dhanyawad sunil bhaiya धन्यवाद तारा भैया धन्यवाद गोपाल बापू भैया अभी हम हिंदी सत्र को शुरू करते हैं हिंदी सत्र में सभी का स्वागत है सभी को नमस्ते नमस्ते शर्मिला दीदी जी नमस्ते यशवंत जी सभी को नमस्ते सभी का स्वागत है हिंदी सत्र में हम अभ्यास दो कर रहे हैं और अभ्यास दो में हम पांचवे स्टेप पे थे अगर हम इस चीज को क्विकली रिकैप करें तो स्टेप एक में हम ये देख रहे थे कि मैं हूं 
मैं एक वास्तविकता हूँ ये दिखता है मुझे कि मैं वास्तविकता हूँ क्योंकि मुझ में जो कल कल्पनाशीलता चल रही है उसको मैं देख पाती हूँ उसमें जो भाव विचार आशा चल रहे हैं उन सबको देख पाते हैं तो मुझे मालूम पड़ता है कि मैं हूं इसी तरह शरीर भी है शरीर के एक अलग प्रकार की वास्तविकता है